Today, we're going to find out if AI can make me a better programmer. This video is sponsored by Tab9, which is a code completion tool powered by machine learning. We're going to put it to the test to see if I can become the ultimate programmer. We'll be doing three tests. Speed, where I'll type out a section of code using the code completion tool. Then I'll type out the same code without the code completion. And I'll time both to see what the difference is. Next, we'll test learning. I'm going to write out some code in a language I'm not very familiar with, and we'll see if Tab9 can help make that process a little smoother using suggestions. Last, since Tab9 uses GPT-2 for natural language processing, I'm going to test if it can help me write out comments to my code. To give an idea of how machine learning and AI can power code completion, Tab9 is trained on both GPT-2 for natural language processing, as well as common code semantics from credible open source projects. Tab9 is free and works on a number of IDEs for most modern programming languages. You can install it from the website in the description below, or you can go to your IDE, search for it in the extensions tab and download it there. Let's begin the tests. In this first test, I typed out a script that I recently wrote for Strain. It changes the textures of a building at random intervals throughout the evening to make it appear like lights are turning on and vice versa, turning lights off in the morning. By the way, this is definitely my regular typing speed. It's not sped up at all, definitely not. In this first run through, I'm not using tab nine to assist. It would be a lot slower if I were typing this out for the first time instead of referencing a script I already wrote, but it would have been more difficult to compare the two runs with a fresh script. I ended up writing it in just under seven minutes. In the second run, I'm using tab nine to assist the coding by autocompletion. You can see in some areas it writes out entire lines of code, which is really cool. This is more helpful when you're actually writing the code for the first time because you're just looking in one place. It sometimes fills in that brain leg that comes up when you're thinking of what to write next. I also find it helps me remember variable names when I forget since it offers a suggestion for that as well. This one went a lot quicker, wrapping up at 5 minutes and 37 seconds. So for the next test, I'd like to see how a tab 9 can help me learn a new language. In this case, I'm going to try to use some PHP, which I suppose isn't a new language, but it's one I haven't used in a very long time, and I'm going to be looking a lot of things up. I want to see how a tab 9 can help me um, basically find what I'm looking for without having to look it up as much as I would regularly. For the next challenge, I decided to see if Tab9 would help me with learning a new language. I know for me, getting used to the syntax of a new language can take a while to sink in. I spend a lot of time looking things up as I'm coding. I wanted to see if the code suggestion from Tab9 would help with this step. On the screen is my very simple placeholder website. I'd love to add some simple functionality using PHP to do things like creating a menu or creating some dynamic content. While PHP is not new for me, it's been years since I've used it last, so it would definitely require some refreshing. I wrote out a simple script to say happy weekend if it's the weekend or just hello if not. This definitely helped remind me of a few things and gave me confidence in what I was looking to type by suggesting the rest of the line of code. For our next challenge, we are going to test the language suggestion of tab nine. This is helpful, it uses GTP2 um, to recommend words to auto-complete. And to test it, we're going to use some open source short stories. The first ones that I came across that I recognized was Edgar Allan Poe, which I thought would be a fun author to use as the base. So um, in this text document, I have a bunch of short stories from Edgar Allan Poe, and we're going to write our very own Edgar Allan Poe themed poetry based on the short stories using Tabs 9's language processing. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's start with the word. Let's make, come up with the title first. The Oh, this is the idea of the young. Okay, that's actually a pretty cool title. I'd read it. Let's start with it. 
it is the idea of the young child that <laughs> impresses us. Okay, they, the, the child of, the child of, the child of, the child of the child. Okay, yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, is the child of the child. <laughs> okay, it's, it's stuck in a loop. Let's see if we can break out of that. Let's, let's, let's go back, let's go back. Oh, here is the... Here is the power of the painter. There is a real and very definite limit to optical discovery. The first rim of the wicker work. I feel like we're getting some secret messages from the AI through our poem. This feels like a lot of wisdom that is giving us. So I can safely say that this is a pretty impressive uh, language predictor. And as I've been coding and writing comments, I have seen tab nine autocomplete them in a way that was actually pretty impressive. I don't even comment my code that much. I feel like if you commented your code regularly and then use this feature of tab nine, it could probably write your comments for you or very close to, so that's pretty cool. This is, this is a lot of fun to play with. It's also a really great way to get some inspiration from if you're writing or if you're coming up with a story or even like if you're coming up with something creative like a painting, I feel like this would be a lot of fun to use as a sort of idea suggestion. So a lot of fun with the language processing here. So does AI make me a better programmer? Well, I think that there's more to it than just the tests that we did today. Well, they were fun. But I do think tab nine is an excellent tool to make the job way more efficient, writing out code faster, having suggestions to save time, looking things up, and even speeding up typing out comments are all really useful and I enjoy amplifying my programming with it. I should also mention that while Top 9 is free forever, in this video, I use the pro version, which uses the GPU to do the processing and allows for more suggestions, more customization, as well as unlimited suggestions. Thank you for watching today. I hope you had fun. If you guys have used Tab9 before or if you decide to try it, I'd love to see what you guys think. Please leave a comment below and let me know if you have any questions. See you next time.